Okay, so we got the hand in place. That's that seems like it's pretty good. Um, so now like, we got to figure out exactly how we're going to handle the jacket, and I think there's a few different ways we could tackle this, but because of uh, the fact that it connects directly to the arm, I actually think that the easiest thing for us to do would be to actually extrude it uh, directly out of the arm. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, um, and then we'll get the, uh, the jacket kind of in place, and then we'll move on to the, uh, the final bit. So, um, so the first thing I need to do is I need to actually grab all of the edges that are part of this... Um, this arm section, um, and I need to just extrude that out. Um, and I also want to scale that a bit so that it gets uh, it gets bigger than just the the arm portion itself. Um, and uh, I want to kind of position this so that it roughly fits like where that that makes sense. Um, and then I'm actually going to do that one more time. I'm going to do one more extrusion with this. Um, you can actually use the extrude tool. I don't actually know honestly why I did that. Um, I can just use the extrude option. Um, so I'm going to scale that, um, pull that out. I can loosely start positioning some of these verts here. Um, now we're going to have to make some significant edits to this because obviously it's a little bit low poly right now. Um, but it's a good idea to try to get the core together first. Um, so let's go ahead and just make sure that we're roughly positioning these where we want our jacket to be represented. Um, and so I'm kind of trying to like gradually wrap this around while also um, matching the uh, the form of the arm. So um, so here, right around at this point, I think that it's safe to say, okay, so we've got that roughly where that's supposed to be. So, um, so I'm going to then start taking the edges at the at the bottom here, and I'm going to extrude those down. And I can also kind of scale those or flatten those, um, and uh, and just position them with where the uh, where the jacket ends in in our example. So um, obviously, then now I can go and I can start making some additional tweaks about where the jacket specifically falls. Um, so we can obviously we see that there's a little more needs to have a little more room underneath the arm. Uh, but that's actually not, it's not too bad, actually. Um, pretty, pretty okay. Um, so then I'm going to grab the edge that's going along the back here, one that's going on the back here, and one that's going on the back here. Um, and I'm, I just extruded those out, and then I'm going to position those edges at zero, zero, zero as well. Um, so now obviously we have a little bit of like extrusion conflict here because we've got this uh, kind of thick um, thick back piece um, and we also need to make sure that we've uh, extended the jacket out far enough to match the concept so I need to grab these two faces and pull those out a bit um, but we're also going to, uh, the jacket is combined with uh, basically kind of a, a, um, a trim or collar. So we need, to, we need to actually create that as well. Um, and so in this case, I think that the easiest way to do that is actually just to uh, extrude these faces out. Um, and then flip the faces over. So um, I'm going to position this here. I need to make sure that vert is at zero on X because it's way at the way at the back there. Um, so I've got this uh, this little kind of collar, basic collar effect that I've got going here. Um, I might need to check 
uh, I need to probably turn on the transparency for this uh, this material to make sure that I can actually see it properly. Um, but it looks like so we we basically we we've, we've got kind of a a basic surface here for this. So I'm going to go ahead and select each of these uh, three faces. I'm going to go to Mesh Display Reverse so that they're actually facing the other direction. Uh, then I'm going to grab these faces and I'm going to extrude them out uh, so that it creates a little bit of like a, like a contour. I'm going to select each of these verts here. Select 0 on X. Make sure that they're all 0 on X. Um, and then uh, basically as, as we go through and tweak this, then we can add in additional details to, you know, sort of soften the overall look of this, uh, this jacket element. Um, but actually, that, that's, uh, that's not too bad. That's better than I thought it was going to be. So, um, okay, so then we've got that basic piece there. Um, obviously, very, very simple. We don't have anything too crazy here. Um, what we can do is we can start looking at where we need to actually subdivide this more to make it more uh, convincing. Um, and again, we have the benefit of insert edge loop. We can do relative distance from edge, insert with edge flow. I can go ahead and I can make like a division there. Maybe we can make a, another division maybe somewhere around here and here. Uh, we can go ahead and we can make like twice the number of divisions across each of the each of the segments for the arm, which will keep it following the same general shape, but will add add complexity to it. Cool, and then that, that's actually that's actually looking pretty good already. So uh, let me go ahead and add another edge here to create a little additional flow. Um, and I think, because I, I don't really like these kind of pinching quads, I'm actually going to use the multi-cut tool really quick. And I'm just going to make that a triangle. Um, and then, actually, I'm going to, yeah, I, I don't know. I think that's OK. I think, I think we can live with that for now. Um, and I think I'll go through and I'll add one more division here uh, so I can sort of insert edge loop here. So that softens that up a bit. Um, go to multi-cut. And this, sorry if I'm sounding a little less uh, chipper. It's been actually like a kind of a long, long session. So I'm trying to get this all knocked out in one uh, one fell swoop. So um, okay, here we go. All right, and so then obviously there's little bits here that are not going to work, um, and that is obvious with the fact that like we can actually see pretty well into like the actual um, inside of the jacket. Um, so I can I can get kind of a rough pass at this uh, pretty quickly, um, but I'm not going to go too crazy with that right now. So because um, we can always go and we can make tweaks to this later, um, or you can you know tweak your own model. Uh, after the fact, so I want to focus on the kind of the core priorities. Um, so okay, so let's let's go ahead and say like let's uh, let's finalize some pieces here because um, it looks like the main thing that we need at the moment is that we need to actually transition between the uh, torso and the leg, and then the torso and the head, and and that's going to be the probably the most complicated bit that we have to do. Um, so I think uh, yeah, our boot is basically done. Uh, let's go ahead and actually add our divisions to finalize our, our leg sections. Um, so I'm going to finalize this one here just by essentially, you know, we can soften up the shape that we got here. OK. All right, that's cool. Um, we can do the same thing here to get these 
legs looking looking better. All right, and cool. So now what our goal is, is to go through and actually just merge all these pieces uh, together. And so we can, um, I can start by adding in some subdivisions that I know are gonna be useful um, because we basically just need to have more edges to work with. Um, by the way, actually, oh, I also just realized um, we didn't really make the, uh, we didn't make a clear separation for where her uh, her shirt bunches, so we need to, there's a little bit of that that we can just do by grabbing these edges and kind of pushing them down, nudging them a bit. nothing too bad okay um, I'm gonna add a couple of small divisions here to start um, oh. <clears throat> start softening softening the character in a few places we got to make sure we got a decent amount of edge flow um, I also want to make sure that all of these verts are still at X. So type in zero and X. Make sure we go through those. Um, <laughs> that uh, that was not expected. It's like we just got her looking like she had some growth or something. Okay, so okay, so alrighty, I think we're we're definitely on the right track. Um, what I'm gonna have to do here now is uh, I need to figure out exactly where the um, the edges are going to connect. We need to add maybe, we're gonna probably wanna have a few additional subdivisions for each of the parts of the animated segments of the character. So, all right. Um, and, and this is a situation where maybe we could, um, We could try to just uh, combine the pieces together, um, but I think that like it would be a good idea to actually show these have proper continuity. Um, okay, so just in the middle of explaining that, my um, Maya crashed. So <laughs> fortunately, I was able to recover my file, but. Make sure you always save and everything, because like that's gonna be really bad if you get like way through something and then you find out that you lost it. Um, so yeah, don't. <laughs> Fortunately, I, I was lucky, but also just try, try to uh, try to avoid that happening uh, to yourself. Uh, so anyway, okay. So we're um, we're gonna go back to uh, getting ready to uh, put together the pieces necessary to connect the leg segments. Um, I'm going to do this in maybe a little bit of a quick and dirty way um, just to make sure that we have an idea of what's going on. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and select all these pieces. I'm gonna delete my, um, my mirrored piece for a second. I'm gonna select all these parts. I'm going to go to mesh combine then I want to make sure that this, uh, I'm going to hit the insert key. I'm going to type in 000. I'm going to go to edit mesh duplicate special options. Just because my computer crashed, I want to make sure it's an instance and the scale is negative one. Okay, so I've got like the basic shape. Uh, we're, we're really getting there. We're very close uh, to the end of uh, the creation of this model, which is pretty cool. 
Um, so I gotta go through and I gotta make sure that everything we've got is uh, positioned correctly. Um, let's see, I gotta make sure. Nudge some of these verts, just make sure everything's good. Um, and then basically what I'm gonna be doing here is I gotta go through and I gotta make sure that pretty much everything that I need is available for me to work with to put these, um, these pieces together. So, um, I'm gonna use the target weld for, for this right here. Um, so, I'm gonna target weld this piece, target weld that together, target weld this, target weld, target weld, target weld. Target weld, target weld, target weld. Uh, I don't think I've ever had uh, this much good luck with the number of verts that I needed. Target weld that. Oop. Target weld this. By the way, actually, this would have been way easier to do if we had actually just started with the same. Uh, cylinder shape for each of the uh, parts. Hmm. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we have this piece here. I'm gonna, I think in this case, I'm going to go ahead and um, hmm. Oh, okay. Looks like there's some some oddness here. Uh, there's some strange polygon there. Okay. Um, all right. So, and actually in this case, let's see. I think that I could actually get away with this uh, by just actually deleting this edge here. So I'm going to shift right click, delete edge. I'm going to actually delete this face, this face, this face. I'm going to shift right click, delete edge. Uh, it looks like I've got an extra vert here, and delete that one. Um, and so for just right here, because we don't actually need, I don't think we actually need anything else, um, I'm going to then just target weld this vert to this vert. And let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna need to to tweak her her butt a little bit once that's all done. Um, and why do I have an extrovert here? Okay. Okie dokie. So on the last bit, we just, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to have to add a, I think I'm going to have to add a, another edge going along that way. Oh god, I'm okay. No. Um, all right, I think for right now, I'm just going to, I'm just gonna merge this vert down, actually. It means there's gonna be a small triangle at the kind of butt area, but we'll, we'll make do with that.
Okay, and then this is a. Uh, we could make like all kinds of tweaks here for a reasonably long period of time, uh, just to make sure that everything is perfect. I think uh, I want to make sure that we have kind of the big picture items taken care of, which in this case are that like we need to um, slightly shift the verts surrounding her butt so that we can can shape it a little bit better. Also needs to Okay. So and then this this actually might be a good situation to use um, soft selection. So if I go ahead and turn on soft selection, make it a little bit sensitive, I can tweak the overall shape, adjust individual verts a tiny bit to compensate. Um, looks like we're looking at Right, okay. All right, and uh, yeah, I don't want to spend too much time on this, <laughs> but um, we might want to, we might want to soften some of these a little bit. And uh, obviously I need to take these, I need to move them back down to zero on X so that they all join. Actually, that, that's looking a lot better, so I think we're doing okay. All right, and so I could, I could, I could make a bunch of additional edits, but I don't think that that's super important right now. Um, obviously, you can use your own discretion to decide how much, how much attention you want to give this. Um, but okay, so. All right, we've got the the main body here put together. So then the last bit is just to make sure that we actually have the transition uh, between the the shirt section of her torso and the neck section so um, so this I mean we can we can handle this a bunch of different ways I think I'm, I'm in, in retrospect I'm slightly regretting the way that I went about uh, constructing this piece um, so what I think I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to use the uh, the multi-cut tool and I'm going to essentially cut this out. So we can then delete these elements. Um, and then we can match them up loosely. With the shape of her uh, her neckline, so um, again, it doesn't have to be perfect because these pieces are not actually dependent on each other. Uh, so we can we can position them wherever we feel is the most appropriate. Um, and I'm also going to have to make sure that we we are careful that we don't have too much separation between. pieces. Um, okay, so I'm going to be just making like subtle, subtle tweaks here. 
Um, I'm not actually going to be super, super worried about things that are going on uh, where it's not visible. So like, for example, I might actually just delete these sections if they're not necessary on the, uh, on the, on the model itself, which it looks like to a degree it actually isn't. Oh, dang it. Looks like we had a little problem here. Okay, so go through, let's see, make some edits. I'm gonna extrude again from here. And then we just need to position these so that they have uh, zero on X, and then we just need to position them so that they can be welded. Edit mesh, merge to center. We're getting close guys, so if you've been following through the whole way, I really appreciate it. Hopefully you've learned a good amount. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff we can do here, so edit mesh, merge to center. All right, there we go. Um, I think I, we actually come a pretty long way here. I really, uh, I, I didn't know that I'd be able to get through all this uh, in this uh, in this lesson. So, um, okay. So we we have a, a few, you know, obviously little tweaks and things that we can we can make. Like I'm going to slide some of these pieces just sort of out of the way. Um, I think that for now I'm going to tolerate that there's a small like visual separation between elements here. Um, normally you wanna try to cover this up as best as you can and I am, uh, I'm putting a little bit of effort to try to do that but I don't think I'm gonna put quite as much as I should. But in any case, so we, we've got, you know, maybe like drag these down, pull these in so that they obstruct the, the areas that are clearly not where you're supposed to be seeing through the, through the character without anything intersecting because that, that, that would be bad. You wouldn't want that. Um, so I'm gonna make sure just a little bit, a little bit of tweaking. So I just did the uh, shift greater than selection thing so that I could uh, shift the selection a little bit. Um, okay, so I think that yeah, I think we're doing doing pretty okay here. I'm not I'm not too worried about this. Um, okay, and so uh, in general, what we're looking at right now. Is so we've got the area around the the neck. We've got this um, general like basic neckline. Let me uh, shift double click here. Slide this this over a little bit. Shift double click. Slide this over a bit. Shift double click with another plus. Shift double click. Um, and uh, so in general, I think that that's actually pretty decent. Um, so I think because we're, we're running we're running really long on time, I want to make sure that this, we actually basically completed this, this lesson. So let's go ahead and actually take this piece, merge it together with this piece. Um, so we're going to select both sides of the character. Good. Uh, mesh, combine. I'm going to select the verts, grab all these verts here, 
display, heads up display, poly count, so I can see it. Then I'm going to go to edit mesh merge options. And then I'm going to merge that looks like it took about 50 verts out. So connected most things together. Um, then I need to go in and I need to definitely fix some places where we got some odd effects. Um, and some of this I can do with like soft selection because we have um, the ability to do that. Um, I can uh, I can go and I can select the um, modeling toolkit quad draw. I can do some relaxing so I can generally smooth out some of the parts. Oops. To make them a little bit, a little bit cleaner, a little bit neater. kind of help with the area around the butt as well. Um, okay, um, and then I can um, I can also go ahead and uh, I'm gonna turn off my soft selection because I don't think that's necessary anymore. Uh, so I can grab the character here. I can select uh, mesh display. Um, and I'm gonna select soften harden edges. Um, and I'm going to use an angle of 45 degrees, soft and hardened edge. Um, and then that way I will have some hard edges. Actually, I don't know. I think that's actually probably a bad idea. Uh, let me go ahead and um, let's see. I'll soften this a little bit here. Looks like we needed some, some additional refinement there. Actually, for characters, it's often a good idea just to soften all edges. So I'm going to go ahead and select the full thing. Go to Mesh Display, Soften Edge. Um, so then we generally have that. Um, and then the last bit that I think I might want to do is I, might, I kind of want to make it so there's a little bit more of a clear separation between the, um, the shirts, the shirt and the pants. So... I'm going to... I'm going to take this, scale it down and out. Well, and then uh, grab the edges here, scale this out a little bit. Okay. All right. And so, yeah, so actually, basically, that uh, that's it. So we didn't go into the, um, the modeling of, like, or we, we didn't go into the texturing workflow. Uh, let me make sure really quick that we just don't we don't have any like stray verts sort of dangling out here. Um, but uh, I mean, this would definitely be the process that you could go through to make a low poly character. Um, obviously, we had some things that had symmetry, some things that didn't have symmetry. I'm going to go ahead and combine all these pieces together. So I'm going to go to mesh combine. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of quick housekeeping. So I'm going to go to the outliner. I'm going to edit delete all by type history. Um, I have my template elements, all that stuff is fine, right? Um, I've got my poly cube. I'm going to call this uh, character underscore mesh. And um, I think since, since we've done plenty here, uh, in the future, I mean, let me know if you'd be interested in doing like uh, texturing this model or doing a high poly workflow for characters because it's definitely something I'm interested in doing in the future. Um, but this should give you a good idea. You can basically, in, in the span of a few hours, we made um, a pretty decent low poly game character from start to finish. Um, obviously, we could do a little bit more tweaking, a little bit more refining. Um, but I think that overall, I'm pretty happy with the results. So, um, obviously, an artist's work is never done. So, um, okay. So yeah. So I think that's the uh, that's the end of uh, what we've got here. So. Uh, thanks guys for watching. I know it's a pretty long section, um, but hopefully you learned a good amount. Um, I look forward to seeing what you make. All right. See you in the next.